Okay, so for Unit 10, Lesson 2, you're actually going to do functions in the real world activity. So if you go to Desmos, that's an online graphing calculator, you're welcome to use that. You can take a screenshot and upload it, um, put it on a Google Doc. But our example is a radioactive element. It has a half-life every five years. So half-life means that for that certain increment, every five years, you're going to have half of what was left before. Okay, so we just found a 1600 milligram sample of the element while we were digging. So fill out our table. So zero years since it was discovered. That means we're going to start with 1600 milligrams of that amount. So then five years later, that's the half life. So I have half of that. And then five years later, half. Five years later, half. That's five years later and five years later and you can keep going if you have decimals that's fine as well um, for your example okay so the next thing is they want us to graph the information okay so on the x-axis we're going to let this be our time in years and since i'm going you get to decide since i'm going up to 25 I think I'm just, we can change this increment. Um, I'm just going to let every five years. If you want it to make every one, oops, sorry, please label what you're using for your increments. Okay, so I could have done like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So it really depends on what your increment is and how big your graph is. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So if I don't want to do that, okay, so then I would just say 1. And then I could do, okay. On the y-axis, that's going to be the amount. And you'll definitely want to change, but you need to tell me the scale. Since I want to go from 50 to 1600, I'm going to go every 50. And you really only have to label a couple, and then it assumes that that pattern is universal. Okay, so what you can't do is just skip to the number that you want. All right, so I'm going to plot these together. So we had 0, 1600. So 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'm going to be off the graph. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'm going to be way up here. Okay, so judging on that, we might want to adjust this. Okay, so if you pick, we can just change it. All right. So instead of going every 50, let's go every 100. So 100, 200, okay? And you only have to label one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put a dot. Then we had five, 800. 10, 400. 15, 200, 20 is 100, and 25 is 50, okay? So remember, play around with your increments, label what they are, and then plot your ordered pairs. All right, so that one is the table, two is the graph, and then we have these questions. So... It says write an equation. So we need to look and two things. Since this is a curve, we know that this is an exponential function or it's a geometric sequence. Okay? So I've got a sub n equals a1 times r to the n minus 1 because that was geometric. So on our formula, we know our first term. is 1600. Our ratio is, well, we're doing half of it. 
and then our time, this is going to have to be adjusted, okay? So our time is, we're going to do, um, we still need to divide it by 5, because like it was every 5 years, so like 20 divided by 5. And then we've got in. Now, there will be some adjusting. If I plug in, our first is 0. So 1 half to the 0 is 1, 1 times 1,600. When I plug in 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 1 half to the 1 times 1,600. That gives it to us. So this is our general formula. Okay. How many milligrams of the element will remain after 50 years? So that is what it is. So I could either continue my pattern or I can just substitute. So I've got 1600, 1 half, and then we've got 50 divided by 5. So if we type that into a calculator, uh, 50 divided by 5 is 10. Okay. one point my decimal got there we go milligrams how would you describe the amount of radioactive element as time goes on well it's I mean after 50 years it's only like one milligram so it is very little and I'm gonna say close to zero as you keep going all right because then I'll take five years later, I'll take half of that. Five years later, half of that. What kind of function? What well, we just talked about is geometric, so that is an exponential function. Your choices are exponential, quadratic, linear, but it's a curve and we are multiplying by a half every five years, so that is a geometric exponential function. Your example might be slightly different, so adjust as needed.